cinematography has been constantly changing. More rapidly after digital came, the earth of photography and cinematography became more sphere rather than flat for the creators. This is a 2013 Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera, the third camera product of Blackmagic Design. Announced and came out along with the release of the first Blackmagic camera in 2012, the BMCC, it was a revolutionary year for indie, commercial and small-scale production filmmakers, calling it a liberation year for cinematography industry. Interestingly, the name original after this pocket cinema camera only became popular after the introduction of pocket 4K and 6K. Revisiting the camera after years of using it, being a Super 16 micro photet sensor, the 12 stop dynamic range, the formats it can handle, they just blew me away. Similar to the Pocket 4K, it is a 2x scrub equivalent to full frame. This was shot on Samyang Cine 85mm at T7. In full frame calculation it is 170mm, but the downside is, it doesn't produce the same depth of field as 170mm of full frame does, even if you're on the same distance. I'm not going to talk here about the specifications and details of technical analyses or even comparing it to other cameras since there are many of them. The concern I want to mildly raise here is how much has the cinematography world utilized this little camera? Back in December 2013, I started doing research for a feature documentary project. It requires me to go to the center of what's happening and somewhat dangerous in order to get first-hand information and fresh footage. It involves traveling to conflicting countries where random photography or recording are considered highly suspicious, rude and act of trying embarrass people. But with this phone-sized cinematic super wide dynamic range gives me a full freedom to move and create. It truly feels to me like bringing a cinema camera and a mobile phone at the same time. All you need is be friendly to people, ask some simple permission and they'll be more than happy assuming it is only a compact family camera. Also, I've been traveling to more than 10 countries with this pocket. Most of my shooting styles are run and gun. Even when filming in public places like most of us quest in London, in uh, Seoul, Korea, in the rushing city of Vietnam, in Indonesia, it doesn't freak people out compared to if I'm using a DSLR where it might possibly be an issue. Apart from that, on a frequent basis, I've been using this camera for commercials, product videos, music videos, mini documentary. The revolution demanded more radical changes. I think a government was formed, an election was held far too early. Now let's talk about this camera on its mainstream industry involvement. Although today it is not anymore a cinematographer's main choice, it has some useful characteristic to offer. Movies like Annabelle Creation and even Avengers Age of Ultron have admittedly used this as their crash cam. On Annabelle Creation, David Sandberg said, I would always have my pocket cinema camera in my bag in case I needed it during the shoot. A couple of times I used it as an extra camera if we were shooting stunts or similar things to have an extra angle just in case. David also said some of B-rolls in this scene were shot on the BMPCC. The scene when B turns around and her face has turned demonic causing Janice to fall over. Your soul. While on Avengers Age of Ultron, it was used for some of the extreme crashes during the invasion scene. Ben Davies, the DP said, We very much wanted these to be shot as a war correspondent would cover news in a conflict zone. What we needed was a lightweight camera that we could then distribute around the set during a filming of battle sequences that would give us more than 12 frames of good quality HD material that we could match with our main camera package. More amazingly, he continues, for example, a truck was being blown up and thrown to the air and we wanted to capture it landing on top of a car, we would put one of the pocket cinema cameras in a small metal housing and put it in the car. Well, since it is only used at a C, D or E cam for cutaways, it means that in the post, the footage are only cut to unnoticed few seconds. Digital world is changing so vastly. The reality is, I may not be using this camera anymore for commercial, wedding or any primary works except for some additional and optional shots. To be honest, I would not appreciate this camera until I bought the Pocket 4K. Never crossed my mind to sell this, not because of nostalgic belonging value, not even because I think nobody would want this camera anymore for being outdated in the market. But who knows what story you're gonna tell in the coming future that maybe needs this good Super 16mm look. 
Thank you for watching. Subscribe and hit the notification button.